Hey guys, welcome back to another how to tips for the Android in which I will be showing you guys a lot of stuffs in which how do you uh, do some kind of configuration or so many tips that you can you search and do with the how to starting phrase. So that's how I just categorize this playlist. So let's see another tip for them. So today I'm going to show you guys a, a quick tip for the Google Chrome browser and some of the advantage using the web based uh, applications like Chrome is that they really save a lot of batteries if you do the same stuff with for example if you use a YouTube app and other Facebook app and if you do the same stuff with the Chrome until you really don't worry bother about the notification the, the Chrome really saves battery a lot of time and it's really fast uh, sometimes to work on that so uh, let's see uh, the Google uh, changed the way Android handles the tab in Android Lollipop so by default tabs no longer do within the Chrome like they do on the desktop if you are surfing on the desktop you might have seen a lot of tabs are in, when you click on a new tab all tabs are visible but unlike in the chrome for the android and uh, they removed for example i just have opened my facebook page and you can see here right now i'm not able to see any tab here uh, it just just got a couple of the option here so if i have to open a new tab simply i used to go there and click on the new tab it will open but uh, hopefully the uh, previous tab will go on it will come on the recent searches so let me show you guys how do you do that so today simply you have to click on the recent tab and it will show you all the stuffs for example if i have to go back to my youtube page i can simply go like that so sometimes it's really pain or you can do it from your recent tabs uh, click on the my this is my third page that i opened so uh that's how it happens in the lollipop and the marshmallow the tab button has been disabled so there is a way quick way you can enable that so let's jump and show you guys how to do that to and to do that simply uh, click on this three dot buttons right in the right corner here and uh, go back to the settings here and uh, you need to see in options uh, uh, merge tabs and apps click on that one and disable that uh, it will give you separate tabs and have tabs will move to tabs which uh, inside the chrome okay and come back here you can see chrome will relaunch again and you see all the four tabs that we opened the three previous tab and one of the new tabs just we clicked and in this way you can easily see and what are the tabs are open so now one of the good thing is there when you do that here it will show you the multitasking and page there but when you switch from the this uh, switching window it won't show you the multiple tabs that's a very good thing here for example i can go back to setting and click down here it will show a single tab which one is open if i change it to back to say facebook page and it will show you guys the facebook one not nothing any else so you can see here it's just loading the facebook page so uh, another way i can show you guys another tip here so if you go back to the setting here if i turn on that uh, disable that tab features again so you can see uh, if i do here it will again showing with the same window so there is no difference at all uh, in terms of how you view uh, when the tabs are enabled or not so there is no issues on that you can really enable that and even it is recommended too i don't know why uh, the google has done these things so if i enable the tabs again you can see a tab page came again here right here so here you can see uh, let me jump to youtube again so yeah it's loading and now let me show you guys how to uh, if you switch here it will show the same effect nothing at all has changed so it's really recommended to enable that feature so that's it a quick how to video for this enabling tab and uh, re-enable the tab in the chrome and stay tuned guys and give me thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe i'm soon going to post a lot of quick tips for you and don't forget to watch the essential apps and best app series that i'm uploading and also some of the uh, a lot of uh, marshmallow features video that is there you can check out all in the playlist so thanks for watching guys i will talk to you in the next one